Hey what's up you guys, it's me Luke and welcome back to another video or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today's video is my first travel vlog for my South Africa trip. So if you're new here, I'm actually from South Africa. I moved to Australia when I was 12 and now I'm 18 and I'm going back to South Africa for the second time since I moved here. I haven't been back in four years. I haven't seen my little sister in almost two years. I'm really really excited to go back but with that I'm also really really anxious for a couple of reasons in South Africa. Like there's really bad crime there and the roads aren't very safe and I have like really bad like paranoia and anxiety. If I seem anxious throughout that vlog it's because of that and also because this is actually my first time traveling alone and not only am I traveling alone but I'm traveling alone halfway across the world and this entire travel trip is like over 24 hours because I first have a flight from Brisbane to Perth that is about four and a half hours and then I have a layover there for like eight hours and then I have a flight from Perth to Johannesburg which is where I'm going to be spending most of my time for ten and a half hours and then I'll be home back in South Africa with the rest of my family I'm actually gonna be going there for six weeks I really wanted to vlog this experience so I could like watch it back and just kind of relive my memories but I also just kind of want to take you guys along for the journey because this YouTube channel really means a lot to me and you guys mean a lot to me and I really just want to like show you where I'm from really just kind of like get more into vlogging I've been wanting to vlog for ages this is the perfect opportunity for me to get into it I have six weeks of just relaxing and visiting family and doing fun stuff gonna go see some animals gonna go to the Drakensberg which is up in the mountains gonna go to Cape Town I'm so excited to like show you guys everything I get up to and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm just really excited okay <laughs> if you cannot tell it doesn't even feel real my friend is like literally coming to pick me up to take me to the airport in 15 minutes Oh god, okay, I'm sorry. I promise it's not gonna be like a shit ton of me rambling. We're actually gonna like, be vlogging like David Dobrik is gonna be shook Logan Paul is quaking and Jake Paul will be on a stretcher. I'm kidding. They're all gonna be just fine Like I'm new to vlogging so cut me some slack. Okay, I'm really not good at vlogging in public But we're gonna try our best. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure what else to say I've like got all my boarding passes printed and I've looked at my itinerary and I'm giving myself enough time and I'm just hoping that everything goes to plan but like my anxiety is just like through the roof right now because like all the Responsibility is on me and like technically I am an adult but like I'm low-key still a child So I'm a little bit nervous but like this is it guys. I'm um, already I'm gonna go ahead and show you my O O T D, my outfit of the day. Um, you probably don't care, but this is my YouTube channel, so I can do whatever I want. That's kind of just how it works. I mean, you signed up for this. <laughs> I'm kidding. So I'm wearing just this plain, comfortable black exercise shirt so that if I sweat, hopefully it's not visible. I'm wearing these like really comfortable semi-baggy shorts so like it's not too tight on the crotch. And then I'm wearing some black vans because they are super comfortable. And if it gets cold, I have my vintage Tommy Hilfiger sweater that is super comfortable, so that'll be great. I also have a, I'll a, is it baseball? Team. I don't know, I just wear it because it stands for Luke Alexander and I guess I'm conceited like that. I'll just show you guys what I'm bringing. Um, I was gonna do a pack with me and then I was like, who the frick cares what I'm packing? So I'll just show you what I'm packing. Yeah, all of my clothes are packed in this one. And I also have this big Nike backpack with all of like the main shit that I need. And then I have my laptop bag with my Mac and all of my electronics and stuff. And then I just have this little Nike crossover bag which has my phone, my wallet, my passport, my boarding pass, all of the important shit that I need. So if I lose that, I'm literally screwed. Hey. Okay. Uh, Savannah got her hair done yesterday. Give us a flick of the hair. <laughs> So Savannah, if you're new here, is my older sister, and this is my nephew, Hunter. Hello, Plappy. And they are coming with me, but they're actually going on a different day because our flights were booked at different times. So I'm leaving today, which is Sunday, the 23rd of December, and then they're leaving tomorrow. But we arrive on the same day because I have a longer layover. I don't know, it's a mess, but either way, we're all going there. We're just going separately. And I'm gonna miss my chunky so much because I haven't been apart from Hunter. This will be the longest I've been apart from him since he was born. Are you gonna miss me, Chunky? Only two days. Two days is a long time away from him, okay? I get sad when I don't see him for three hours. I'm gonna miss him so much. Alrighty guys, my friend Caleb is here. <laughs> Bye, Hunter. Bye. See you in two days, Chunks. Quickly record the fit. Ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Chunky. See you guys in a day or two. Bye. See you in two days. <laughs> Love you. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Make sure you double, triple check that the house was actually locked. Bye, Carl. See you in six weeks. Thanks for taking me. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm at the airport. I'm vlogging my phone because I don't want people to stare at me. <laughs> but like the entire way here, I had like this weird pit in my stomach that had forgotten something. Like I knew I'd forgotten something. And I just went to go like try to get food and I looked for my bank card and I couldn't find it anywhere. I my sister and turned out I left it at home. So she's gonna go ahead and bring it with her. But I'm only gonna see her in like two days. And like I'm gonna be in Perth for like literally eight hours. Like I need food. I only have ten dollars. So now I need to go after I get some cardless cash out. Like I'm so dumb. I knew I forgot something. How can I be so dumb? How do I forget my bank card? Like out of all things. Like, so apparently they pulled all the ATMs for my bank out, but the guy says there may be one around. Now I'm like running around searching for it so I can get some cardless cash out of-
fucking starve. I can't find my bank's ATM. Yeah, I actually never ended up finding my bank's ATM, so I was pretty freaking stressed about that. But then I went ahead and went on the flight, and to make matters worse, the flight was like delayed like an hour and a half, and you won't even believe why. So first the flight was delayed because somebody's bags were on the plane, but they were not on the plane, so they had to first look for the person, then they couldn't find them, so they had to look for their bags and get rid of that. And then, the part that is so stupid, the flight was delayed because somebody had a bunch of butterflies where like they keep all the animals and stuff, and the butterflies had gotten loose. Like I literally thought that they were freaking kidding. The reason that our plane was delayed was because we had butterflies flying in the bottom of the plane. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, but anyway, then we eventually left and oh my god, the flight from Brisbane to Perth was so nice because I got to sit in business class. It was literally so bougie and the life that I was meant to live. So I'm in Perth, I just landed. Um, I'm on the bus that like takes you from the domestic part of the airport to the international part of the airport. And also I like forgot that there was like a time difference because Brisbane is literally on the east side of Australia and then Perth is on the complete opposite side on the west. So there's a two hour time difference, but um, otherwise I'm feeling okay. Flight was delayed an hour. It didn't really bother me too much. Well, I had an eight hour layover here and now it's just seven hours instead of eight. And so I just gotta wait around, get all my shit checked in and find a comfy spot to wait for literally seven hours. <laughs> Oh my god, I found an ATM so now I can get cardless cash. <laughs> That's my bag. Now I can eat. Alrighty guys, I'm on the hunt for food, but like literally everything is so expensive. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're gonna have a mini ASMR burrito mukbang in public. There's probably someone staring at me right now. Hey, let's try out this veggie burrito. Mm. Pretty good. I'll talk to you later. There's people staring at me. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. That iced coffee was a mistake. I've had like three caffeinated coffees in one day. That is way too much for my body. My stomach is in so much pain right now. Hence why I'm on the toilet. This is TMI. You don't care. Um, But that's the update. I'm currently, I don't know, I'm like four or five hours into my layover. And I've just been sitting around editing for ages. Um, I'm tired. I'm really tired. I'm really bloated. I'm really sore. And I'm nowhere near done. I still have like literally 13 hours until I get to Johannesburg. <sighs> I'm tired. Anyway, I just gotta take a fat shit. See you in a bit. Oh, I'm so gross. Anyway, I gotta go ahead and check my bag in now. So I have my boarding pass now. So now I just gotta head through security. Love this. It's not anxiety producing at all. My god, you guys, I'm literally so freaking annoyed. Like this just happened purely because I'm ignorant. So like I can't really be annoyed. But I went through security and they literally threw out my deodorant, my cologne, my face moisturizer, and my face cleanser because they were all over 100 milliliters like i didn't even know this was a thing and it's obviously just because i'm stupid and i didn't check it was like literally over 50 dollars just like down the drain like they literally threw all of my shit in the bin and i was so devastated <laughs> like how am i gonna clean myself i already have personal hygiene problems as it is at least i know for next time but goddamn that was really really frustrating seeing them throw all those unused products in the bin even my colvin klein cologne <sighs> anyway <laughs> Guys, I'm here in South Africa with my little sister Isabella. Hi. <laughs> we haven't seen each other for almost two yeah. years. Yeah. Isn't that insane? Like you were literally 13 when you left and now you're turning 16. It's cuckoo. Oh. Grant, say hi to my vlog. Bella, can you Luke, just look and can, see. Can you say hi to the oh, hi Luke? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the house We're I grew up in. Oh, Jabu! The childhood dummy. <laughs> it's like I was here yesterday, like the street and everything. This is the room that I was in. Oh my god, you can tell because I was the one who painted it. Look how bad it is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, and this window still doesn't have a curtain. That used to freak me out so much. And this is the bed that I had. Alrighty guys, so it's been a minute since I got to touch base with you, but I'm currently here in the room that I grew up in as a child. This is like insane. But yeah, I pretty much just chilled today. We went to the grocery store, um, bought a couple things. It still feels so surreal. Like I cannot believe I'm here. I haven't been here in four years. So yeah, I've just been chilling. We're going to pick up Savannah and Hunter from the airport in about two hours. I'm really excited. 
excited about that. Um, but yeah, I'm just pretty much gonna start editing my video before we go ahead and pick up Savannah and Hunter, which I'm really excited about because I'm just excited for everyone to meet Hunter. Also, I just miss him, even though it's like literally only been 48 hours since I saw him, but like I'm literally dying. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of it. And I really can't wait to show you more of what I get up to here in South Africa. I'm here for six weeks, so Lord knows I'll get up to a lot. Um, but yeah, and if you have not already, please make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so that you never miss another upload. And as always, all my social media is just linked down below. I'm probably going to be posting on there a lot since I'm on holiday. And anyway, guys, that's for me in this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. And I hope that you have a great day or night, wherever you're on the world. Bye! Bye.